the second chapter, and we're going to start at the fourth verse. When you have it, please say amen. 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 On, and on this Sunday, amen, I want you to get out your cell phones and your iPads, and I want you to bust up Facebook, whatever, any quote that you like that I say, I want you to start putting on Facebook and flood Facebook. Amen. Make sure you tag me in it so I can see my name being tagged in blue. Amen. And then you go hashtag preaching in the house. Amen. It's a little Facebook humor. All right. Some of y'all too old to know Facebook. But amen. All right. Are you ready? Ruth, the second chapter in the fourth verse says is this. It says, Behold, Boaz came to Bethlehem and he said unto the reapers, The Lord be with you. And they answered him, The Lord bless thee. Then Boaz said unto the servant that was set over the reapers, Who is this lady? And the servant said, She is a Moabite woman that came with Naomi out of the country of Moab. And she said, I pray, let me work among the reapers. So she came and hath continued even from this morning, working until now. That she tarried a little while in the house. Look at your name. She took a little break and went back to work. Then said Boaz unto Ruth, Heareth thou not my daughter? Go not anywhere. So in other words, he's saying this. Don't you leave this field. Let thine eyes be on the field that you do reap, and go after them. I have charged the young men that they shall not touch thee, and that thou shalt. In other words, he's saying, I'll set you aside just for me. They ain't even going to say nothing to you. Then she fell on her face and bowed herself to the ground and said, Why have I found favor in thy sight, or grace in thy sight, that ye should have knowledge of me, seeing that I am a stranger? She said, What is it about me? That here I am a stranger, but you notice me. And Boaz answered and said unto her, It has fully been shown to me. Uh oh. Boaz said, It has been shown or revealed to me that ye have stayed with thy mother-in-law since the death of thy husband, and have thou shown, and could have left thy father and thy mother, and went back to thy own land, but you stayed there faithfully with thy mother-in-law. Amen. Father God, we thank you for your word at this time, God, for all of the hearers. God, that their ears will be opened up, God, and that we will gain knowledge, insight, and wisdom according to what you have to say for us on today. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Yes. Amen. 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 This is a two-part sermon, so me and you will get just as much out of this as the women. But I do want all of the women to look at another woman and say, you want a Boaz? You want a Boaz. But are you a Ruth? <laughs> say it loud. Now, don't say it like you're scared. I'm like, they're going to respond back to you. <laughs> say, you want a Boaz? <laughs> but shake your hand and roll your eyes. If you want a Boaz, <laughs> but are you a Ruth? <laughs> but are you a Ruth? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying on Facebook about how you're ready for a man of God to come into your life and sweep you off your feet and how you're looking for somebody that can pray with you and they can, they can read the word with you and somebody that's going to love you like no other person has ever loved you. But I come to ask you a question. Are you in position uh, to make those requirements? Uh, are you in position to make those requests known what you're ready for? Are you truly ready for what you're asking for? Uh, married people, engaged people, single, saved, satisfied, dating people. <laughs> it is too much to ask a person to be your everything. That is a weight and a hard requirement when you can ask of someone, I need you to be my everything. Uh, one of my favorite songs is that I listen to say, until this morning I realized it could not be true when they, when they said, today I saw somebody that looked just like you. She walked like you do. I thought it was she. Then I turned the corner, I called out your name. I felt so ashamed when it wasn't you. You are everything and everything is you. How can I go on living life like I do? When everything that I do compares just to you. How can one person bear the weight of your needs and your wants? Uh, Y'all ain't ready to go, I'm ready to take it. Do not we make requests to people knowing that nobody but God can fulfill a need in our life but God? And so we make a lot of requests unto a man that a man 
cannot keep. You got to be able to stroke my needs. You got to be able to listen to me. You got to be able to care for everything I do. You got to be able to take care of me. But at the same time, you got to be able to spend time with me. You got to be a good father. You got to be a good this. You got to be a good that. You got to be my everything. I'm counting on you to replace the hurt that the other man caused me. I'm, I'm, I'm counting on you to make me blot out my bad marriage, my bad relationship that I had. I'm counting on you to remove me from my depression. I'm counting on you to be my joy. I'm counting on you to be my star. I'm counting on you to be my father that my father wasn't there. Or a man would say, I'm counting on you to take care of me like my mom. Isn't it too much of a heartbreaking affair to think that someone can fulfill every need and desire you have? But we put these requirements on people. You got to have women, y'all ain't saying that here, but don't we put that requirement in church? Yeah. You got to be able to do all of this in order for me to stay there, and if you ain't got it, I'll go over to still and say that. We put all of these requirements on people, and then when we make them what we want to make them, we change again. <laughs> One minute he didn't work enough. Now he's working too much. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready to go. I'm ready to teach you. I don't care if you don't say nothing. Uh, 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 one minute he didn't dress up enough. Now he's spending too much money on the way he look. Uh, one minute he didn't tell you nothing nice. Now he's getting on your nerves smothering you because he's telling you too much. <laughs> oh, Y'all ain't ready to go, but I'm ready to take you. We put all of these requirements on people. Uh, I need a pastor that's going to be there for me. But when I start texting you, you act like you don't see it. Amen. Oh, y'all ain't ready to go, but I'm ready to take it. And it's because we, 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 we have not fulfilled our own needs individually. Uh, we want somebody else to make us whole. Uh, that's why, watch now. Well, when you have an error, error in, area in your life that is not fulfilled, you start replacing God with people. In order to meet that need. That's right. Oh, y'all ain't ready to go. We're going to talk about it in a minute. But I got I to I I ask you something. How can somebody fulfill a need in your life? You can't fulfill it. Uh, why does it take for somebody to tell you beautiful before you start feeling like you're beautiful? Why do you only dress up when you feel like you got to go out, but you can't dress up when you go by yourself to the movies? Why you just can't have a heart and say, you know what, I'm satisfied with me, so I'm not going to settle for anything just to say I got somebody. Because if I have five, say, when last time you talk to yourself? <laughs> And I come to tell you today, if you get on your own nerves, all you're going to do is get on somebody else's nerves when they hook up with you. If you're not happy, y'all ain't saying that. If you can't be happy and single, you ain't going to be happy when you get married. Y'all ain't really saying that. I know you think you need a man, but if you can't deal with the time you spend by yourself and with God, you ain't going to join with somebody else in your space. <laughs> well, I'm going to preach today. I'm going to preach today. Because we think we're ready for stuff, and we ain't even satisfied that stuff in our own life. Let me tell you, There you go, there you go, man. We're going to talk today, yeah. <laughs> understand, understand this. Understand this. If you got issues going into a thing, all you're going to do is double your issue. <laughs> Because you're going to have to deal with her issue and your issue. You're going to have to deal with his issue and your issue. Y'all ain't saying, that's why you got to make sure that why God has given you a season where ain't nobody there to cloud your issue. You getting yourself together. Don't get yourself together because you want to meet somebody else's need. Get yourself together so your need can be met. Sons married uh, a woman. Most people call her Oprah, but it's Oprah. Uh, and and they were married uh, Ruth. And what happened was uh, the husband died, 
and they had Ruth in a faraway country. They had a Moab company. And, uh, and then the sons died, and Ruth decides, I mean, Naomi decides, well, I want to go back to uh, my own country because uh, I hear it's now it's prospering, it's doing better, I don't have nothing else here to live for, so I'm going to go back. And what she does is she releases her two daughter-in-laws. You go head back to your people. You go head back to your people. You go ahead and marry somebody else. I'm freeing you. From me, and so they said, "No, we don't want to go nowhere." They cling hold to her. We don't want to go anywhere. And so, so they always says, "Wait a minute, uh, you gotta go because by the time I have, I get married and have another son, by the time he grow up, you ain't gonna be worth." You're going to be too old, so you need to go back, find yourself, somebody else, go back to your own people. When this thing struck an open mind, she said, you know what, I'm gone. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't develop. I need me a man, y'all. I'm gonna, let's talk to the open. Can, can we talk to the open right here? You ain't been single for five days before you already in another relationship. You took Beyonce and saw too literally. You say, I don't need you. I ain't going to get another one just like you. And what happened was you ain't got another one. She